UK minister accused of giving mixed signals over migrant workers. In my previous video, I was talking about the... Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time here, my name is Stella. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. Click on that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post any new video. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for the love. Thank you guys for the support. Honestly, I really do appreciate So on my channel, I talk about my life here in the UK, what is happening around me and I share information. So in today's video is regarding my previous video where I post, we are talking about bad news for Nigerians coming to the UK. So in that video, I talk about like, how the home secretary was complaining that they have too much of dependent that is um dependent are more than the people coming to study and in that video some persons have mixed reactions look whatever i post on my channel i'm not bad mouthing anybody i'm not bad mouthing any country it's what is happening that i'm sharing so regardless of how i feel or regardless of what i say it doesn't which will not really change anything at the end of the day is their decision they'll still do what they want to do so the way you guys are complaining that's how or that ministers who are complaining so mind you whatever that is being said must be looked into so they will have to make a decision they'll have to talk about it they have to vote it's not just a one person decision so most person were telling me oh god i'm coming to school hope it's not going to affect me all of that i mean like it's not going to affect you they just say they will look into it and now there's latest update where they talk about this they said you can see it on the screen uk minister accused of giving mixed signal over migrant workers now Ministers have been accused of sending mixed signals to business communities seeking to employ foreign staff after the Home Secretary said that UK had too many low-skilled migrant workers and high number of international students who often bring dependents. So yes, this is where it comes now. So, so they believe that, that the dependents coming inside the country are not you know, contributing to the um, economic in this country. So I don't even understand why they are saying that. But it, trust me, this decision is not made by one person. They will have to go through it. They have to discuss it and they have to finalize. So that does not mean that it's you know, taking place already. No, it's not going to happen. So you guys need to relax. I've been getting so many messages regarding that ministers have to also decide and and with what is happening there's so many confusion people have been complaining that they are not in support of it which which i believe that is going to end up positively it also said that shuela braveman's commented came days after the council of kumasi kwasi anyway i cannot pronounce that name said the government was launching a review of immigration policy as part of the attempt to boost growth after complaint from business groups that post Brexit rules were too strict, especially for low paid jobs. So now, mind you now, this complaint now, the business people are not happy with it. The employers are not happy with this, uh, with this comment because they said that it is becoming very strict. Everything is just becoming too strict. They are being so strict with everything now. So there's so many complaints. So regarding that comment saying that um, they will look into it, that is what is bringing all this update to because everyone will have to say what they think. And mind you, 2 million job vacancies were advertised last month with the social care sector trying to fill in 105,000 posts. There is also a shortfall of 40,000 nurses and 100,000 HGV drivers. And the farming industry has, has called for extra 30,000 visas for seasonal workers. So you can see, even now at the moment, UK are still short of staff. So I don't understand why they are still complaining about dependent. So, so that's why I said this decision is going to be something that they will have to discuss. They have to vote and all of that. It's not something they will just come out and say, hey, there's, there will not be more dependent. Student dependent, there will be no, uh, you know, stuff like that. Because so many persons, they are now thinking because of what I mentioned in that video, uh, is going to affect dependent. For now, for now, they only say it's going to be reviewed, even though they want to look into it because they feel like the dependents are not really contributing to the economy. They still have so many job vacancies. They are still advertising. That's why they are considering whether to start allowing more highly educated workers from across global. This includes proposal for new visa for workers who have graduated from one of the top 50 or top 100 global universities but the truth is that at the end of the day they still want workers but it's obvious that they are trying to target the high skilled workers i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say so they just feel like the dependents are too much but 
honestly the dependent that's really helping out in this country that's what i feel and i believe that nothing is going to happen yes at the end of the day they're still collecting money the dependent are not really gaining much even though they say too many dependent it's true that we've got so many so many dependent but at the end of the day they're not really getting much on to say like a benefit while they pay tax they work they pay tax they pay for so many things so at the end of the day they're not really getting back or should i say we are not really getting back that's just the truth and that is why it's not going to be an easy decision to be taken. Everybody has their own opinion. And you as well as watching me, you have your own opinion. But at the end of the day, it's your choice if you want to migrate, if you want to come to the UK or not. So with an interview with The Sun on Sunday, Brave Man also promised to enforce Boris Johnson's plans to deport asylum seekers. For those of you that don't know, you know, so many persons have been talking about these asylum seekers, you know, complaining that there are too many asylum seekers. They also say that they have plans to deport them to Rwanda. I believe that the reason why they are talking about this is because they have so many people seeking for asylum and all of that. So now, please, for example, if you're seeking for asylum and they decide to deport you to all, not deport you, but send it to Rwanda until you get all that you need to get, or should I say all your documents and you've been accepted, your case has been looked into, that's when you will enter the country. That's when you now stay in the UK. So now they've decided that they want to also look into that and send asylum seekers to Rwanda, meaning they will not be camping here in the UK. Yeah, that's just because of this all this crisis. They also want to look into that. So, looking into dependent, I just want all of you watching this video planning to come to UK to study. For now, they've not said anything. They are just saying that they will look into it. And looking into it does not mean it's one person's decision. Some of the ministers are not in support of this. Some of the employers, some of the business people, they are not also in support of it. They are feeling really bad because everything is becoming too strict and too you know difficult for people or for employers to get people from outside the uk or for employers to get staffs so that's just what is happening now so obviously we've got new minister we've got new home secretary so things are definitely going to change there will be you know new things and all of that but at the end of the day they cannot just decide it themselves they will have to still discuss it vote about it and you know make a final decision the main thing they are complaining that they have so many low skilled workers that is what the home uh, secretary is complaining and you can see on the screen it says what we've got is too many low skilled workers coming into the country she said we have also got a very high number of students coming into the country and we have got got a really high number of dependents those people are coming here they are not necessarily working or they have got low skilled job they are not contributing to growing our economy she said Oh, you can see all she's after is growing the economy, which is not really um well the dependent fault. Everybody coming to UK to study want to come with their family. And the truth is that some persons are not in support of what she said. That is why they have got so many mixed reactions. It also said that the SMP's Home Office Affairs spokesperson Stewart McDonald's questions Braverman's priorities. The idea that tarnishing the Modern Slavery Act and reducing international students that are the biggest priorities for the new home office secretary is completely and utterly ludicrous he said so you can see that it's obvious that the spokesperson is not in support of her that why is it that her priority at the moment is the international student that it's not really worth it he went further saying that like her predecessor Preeti Patel that's the previous home office secretary will be more nasty rhetoric and desperate gesture making things worse rather than better you can see what the spokesperson is saying obviously he is not in support he feels like she's going to make things worse and you know like difficult since january 2021 most workers have been paid at least 25,600 a year for an employer to sponsor a visa causing problems in sectors such as agriculture hospitality and some manufacturing where lower wages are common with all that is happening it seems she's focusing on the international students and the low income earners but it's funny because even the low income earners they still pay tax it's not as if they don't contribute but i don't know why she keeps saying they don't contribute to the economy imagine you working 40 hours in a week check your tax especially this year the tax i don't even understand is a lot so many persons are complaining and the truth is that the international students are obviously going for these jobs because at the moment that is what they can get as sub that's as soon as they enter the country so that's why they're settling for less that does not mean they will not you know look for a better um opportunity i keep telling people yes it's true once you enter you want to look for a job that you just get sharp sharp money pay bills but at the same time i will always advise people that once you set your bill you're relaxed you're settled try and look for a better job at least don't settle for less 
so that is it for today's video i just want to encourage those of you planning to come to the uk to feel free to come to the uk feel free to continue your process even though they say they will look into it just know that uk still wants people i don't know regardless regardless of what they are saying and i want you to know that this decision is not going to be made by one person and for those of you coming for me i don't want you guys to always take things personal sometimes what we post on our channel doesn't really matter it's not it's not you know it's not going to affect anything it's not going to change the home office decision i always say that anything i post on my channel is not going to affect the home office decision at the end of the day they will make their decision they will do what they want to do me i am just an immigrant I want you guys to understand that so with this we've come to the end of today's video if you find this video informative please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe and share i'll see you guys in my next video bye